I'm ZerTapTap and welcome to Valhalla. I did not realize this intro track got half this dramatic. It's very interesting. I left it sit for a minute or two here. Very dramatic. Anyway, I've noticed in in playing my videos back to myself, I, uh, it's a bit louder than it should be. Um, my voice sounds different, but I think it might just be because, um, like I said, my speakers died, so... In the process of setting up my headphones again, that's weird. I could have swear I read that, didn't I? Um, yeah, I switched to a different way of channeling my audio through my PC in general, um, so that may just be why the, my voice sounds a little different to me. Because um, everything sounds a slightly quieter for some reason when I use this Elgato sound capture. Just, uh, I'm just super paranoid about my audio, and sometimes I can't tell just by my own ears, so. If anything sounds weird, or if it sounds the same, just let me know to end my insanity over here. Kira Mickey Encore Concert Announced by Laris Mithy. Fans of the famous cyber idol Kira Mickey. It's a weird title for... I mean, she's just like a... I mean, she's a Lilim, not like a hologram. Anyway, we're in for a huge party, all thanks to the announcement of a second concert in Glitch City's Sil Silver Thunder Superdome. I'm so excited to extend my visit, declared the cyber idol during an interview. Tickets are now for sale. Oh, no, we did read this. Sorry. I guess I just saved after I saved, or read it. So... Wait, what is... Oh! This pixely dithered one costs tons of money. Oh, you can have tape. Oh! <gasps> We could have pink and black walls? I could have been Hot Topic this whole time? Ah. Oh. Well. Man. Oh well. I guess Hot Topic Koketsu is enough for now. Um, yeah, let's go to work. I don't want to buy anything until I get paid. And even then, I should probably be careful at this point. You know, I've been eating, I guess, lots of, like, salty and maybe spicy food lately, and my my tongue just feels like it, it is dead. I, I just thought I should fill that, fill all of your brains with that information. I feel like shit! Same! Well, it's really not that bad. But it's weird and annoying. And I guess I need to stop eating what I've been eating. I got a bunch of really good stuff for sandwiches, though, and I don't want to, like, let it go to waste. Um, you sure you should come, then? You're on the right... You're in all the right way to stay at home? You're in all the right way to stay at home. It's a weird sentence. I have to come. Okay. I threw everything away I had in my life to be here. People I loved were pushed aside just so I could enjoy my freedom of being here. My stupid, stupid freedom! Don't you insult freedom, ma'am. This is America. Well, I'm not sure if this is America, but it's America now! I decree this shit city to be America. Anyway, so I come here until I die, even after the bar closes, till my hair falls out. Calm down, bro. You're the one who looks like she's about to fall apart. Your eyes are red and swollen. Yeah, well, your hair is hairy. Take that, fuckboy. Yes, it is. Ah, who was the dipshit that changed the order of the glasses? It was me. I was the one washing dishes yesterday, remember? Oh yeah, I was too busy staring at my crumbling life and all of that. She'll stop being an edgelord. Oh, more of a sad lord. Piss lord. Why don't you go home, Jill? You're in no position to deal with people right now. Go home, rest a bit. My girlfriend, my ex-girlfriend died and I wasn't there to see her one last time. All because of a fight I spent all these years regretting and wishing to, but never actually apologizing for. My decision to assert my freedom and grab a hold of my life led me to this. It's not like you killed her, dipshit. A bartender strapped for cash to distance herself from their loved ones for no reason other than selfishness. This, this is my face right now. Even with the eyes closed, I'm just reading this with the power of my mind. So I won't fucking leave. I threw all of that away to be here, so here I will stay. So here I will stay. She's got some weird... I mean, I guess she's having, like, a breakdown, but still kind of weird sentence there. 
this is what I wanted. This is why I left all that behind. This is why. See? You're starting to sound like a broken record. Oh, leave her be. I'd rather have her here than alone in her apartment. How are you feeling, Jill? I feel like a shit-eating piece of shit. Ah, uh, cannibalistic shit is the worst kind of shit. I'm the lowest of any possible light form you might find. Nanobes look down to me in disgust, knowing they're far superior. You're spirited. That's good. Where's the mutt? Working with Sira. At Sira. I know what I said. The dog has literally never done anything of use. In any case, let Jill process her anger. It's perfectly normal to feel that way. And here, she's surrounded by people that care about her. Except for all of the customers. It's a lot better than leaving her to fend for herself. I mean, smart as four might be, he's still just a cat. Why not have Jill stay and not serve anyone today? What part of I won't leave, didn't you understand? I didn't leave everyone behind just to sit here and do nothing. Sounds pretty nice, though. I like sitting here and doing nothing. Fine, fine. What if we do she just lashes out of the client? That's why you're here, Gillian Pilskin. <laughs> Pilskin. <laughs> hey, Jill. What? I'll be in my office. But creators obviously love Metal Gear a whole lot. I'll be in my office, but if you need a break or a hug, just tell me. Hmm. Alright, let's do the thing where I just pick random music and don't actually care. Bloop, 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 bloop. Really need a random button. I just want all of the good music, but I don't know what the good music is, and I'm just too lazy to find out. Oh, you already put on music. Sigh. This is gonna be an interesting day. I don't I don't know why I always just read the sigh instead of like sighing. But <laughs> I, my brain just reads before I process that this is an emotional thingy. I guess this font doesn't have italics. I guess pick italics for a pixel font would be kinda weird. The Hall of Heroes keeps on shining, brimming with the Do I smell tacos? Wait, it's outside. Never mind. Oh hell no. If we meet again, bartender. Vergio, what can I get you? Today, the luminous pollution on the streets make it seem almost like a starry sky. When I think about star, I, I think about celebrities. Celebrities are fishy, and my favorite fish is the octopus. So I want something octopus-like. <laughs> Aren't you gonna do that weird bartending thing? I'm waiting for you to order like a decent human being. I'm not following. <laughs> he doesn't know how to be a decent human being. Spell out your order like you're a human who is not in need of medical help. Fine then, I want a sparkle star. S-P-A-R-R. Cool star. Sparkle star for the... It's not very octopus-like. That's sea star-like, you stupid. It's, there's not even eight ingredients. Oh, whatever. Two of them, one of them. They used to actually sparkle. Aged next. So apparently this guy is supposed to be Jim Sterling. I I don't honestly see too much resemblance other than he's a big guy in a suit, but uh, I, I guess I don't really recognize Jim Sterling without the glasses. I, I'm pretty sure he doesn't have a question mark tattoo on his forehead. He doesn't really have the Widow's Peak either, does he? Ah, whatever. That's what that's what people say. I don't know. Was this on a Kickstarter? Is that like a Kickstarter tier? I lose track of what games are Kickstarter. I don't. I try to just stay out of that. Maybe I'll tweet about something. Maybe if it has a demo, like a real solid demo, I'll play that. Otherwise, I try to stay away from that. It's a great system, but um, I've learned the hard way a few too many times to personally bother with that. Have you tried to spell under pressure? <laughs> You look angry. Spelling bartender. <laughs> That's my name now. Are you having that time of them? Oh, fuck you. No, I'm just filled with ridiculous amounts of anger, pain, self-hate, and... On second thought, you're not that far from the truth, I guess. I get those too, you know. Periods. You do? Yes, last month I finally got over my renaissance and moved up to my enlightenment. Ah. <sighs> 
here I was, thinking you'd get to say something serious for once. <laughs> Are you implying I'm not serious? Glaring holes through me will do nothing. I'm glare immune. It's part of my class build, you see. Sigh. I did it again. I just read... Uh, I'm not, like, deliberately doing that. It just happens. But if you allow me to give you a sincere piece of advice... Whatever. It's not like it'll help. You shouldn't kick yourself so much. If you keep it up, any chance of finally forgiving yourself will someday be gone. Self-hate will leave you with a hole that will never heal. So please take measures against it instead of sulking so much. I'll be damned. That actually sounded half sensible. Here I was thinking you are just a pompous lunatic. Hey, pompous lunatics have stories too. Really? What story? I would rather not tell. Figures. You want anything else? Have you ever seen how the... A bad touch. <laughs> Bad touch, whatever. I'm still giggling about it. I'm, I'm giggling for Jill. We'll, we'll get through this together. Yeah, I guess this is the one. Maybe it's right and I shouldn't be so hard on myself. Even though I deserve every second of it. Stop it, Jill. If I'd only apologized earlier, I might have this might not be feeling this way right now. If only I... I can't remember what helped me from apologizing all these years. Um, bartender, you're making a lot of faces there. I prefer women with only one face, you see. Pride, fear, what kept me from going out and apologizing to Lenore? Lenore. Isn't that in a Simpsons thing? Quoth the Raven. Wait, no. Is it? I know there's ever more, but is it Lenore? I, I can't remember. And yes, I do associate um, the Raven thing with Simpsons now. Uh, it's it's impossible to separate it from that the words. Anyway, I can't even fucking remember what kept me from fixing this whole situation. Can I at least find solace in whatever feeling it was that brought me to this situation? Right now, I'm feeling even worse thanks to not being able to muster whatever feeling held me. It's is she okay? No, but just leave her be for now. Hey, Jill. Hey, it's I. Eh? Oh, thank God. A normal person! <laughs> Same. Wah! A mummy! A mummy! Rude. <laughs> no, I don't have kids! I don't think Sai is quite a normal person. <laughs> Still more normal than this twat. How are you feeling, Sai? My bones are still broken, but at least the cuts are healing nicely. Thank god I'm not someone that scars easily. Um, I mean wounds don't leave me marks. It'd be a problem if I couldn't get scar tissue. What happened to you? Fell off two and a half stories into some trash and rubble. Oh, she fell into my bar. You look better though. Last time you came you looked like you were about to collapse emotionally. Man, she's got muscles. Look at that. I already pointed this out, but still. You're the one who looks like it now, though. <laughs> How do I put it? It's like when I called you your fir first full name, but magnified. Yeah, I don't mind too much, me too much. I'm in a bad mood. Anything I can do? Please forgive me if I suddenly lash out at you or anyone else. Do you want something? My tongue's not so sensitive today, so let's have a beer. And you? Such a change in tone. I'm fine. I don't need anything. Let's make a beer. Boop. One, one, two, one, two, two, one, two, three, four. Mixed. There's your fake beer. Yay! Let's see if there are any differences from the canned ones. And this one tastes less watered down. So did something happen to you? I'm fine. Nothing has happened to me. <laughs> World's best liar right here. People who are fine don't act like that. Oh, I get it. You're in those days. Oh. There's no way. There is no way Sai would say that. Oh, fuck you, Sai. But it's that time of the month, I get a bit sulky. No, I'm not on my period. No? I'm dealing with the loss of someone, okay? Oh! Don't you know me well enough to know this? Sorry. Don't worry. 
Maybe I shouldn't have come today at all. Um, no, I... Hmm. Is literally anyone dumb enough to be like, Hey, are you on your period? I thought that was like just something idiots, you know, did to be idiots. Maybe. Ah! Alright. I'm trying to find something to say. <laughs> She's gonna rupture something. Making a joke would be tasteless, and I can't say everything will be alright without sounding cheap. I'm at a loss to what to do here. Sorry. Heh. <laughs> Wanna hear something weird? I was exactly like that when Sally came here on Monday talking about you. Oh. Well, ladies, I'm leaving. For Hio. Yeah? You were just sitting with a Valkyrie. Really? Splendid! This will make a good entry in my poems blog. <sighs> I feel bad about the way I treated him today. If not for the fact that he was being cryptic with his orders for no good reason. Looks like Zelda when she first came. Yes. No! I mean... <laughs> you could have given him a free beer or something and apologized. Yeah, I just kept messing things up with people. But you know, he seemed familiar. Familiar. Yeah, I can't put my finger on it though. I just feel like I've seen him somewhere. Ah well, might just be a, <laughs> that he looks like someone from an ad or something. So, oh crap, speaking of ads, I forgot the best ad. There you go. So, what brings you here? I wanted to come with Stella, so I'm waiting for her. Why oh, here? To be with you, of course. That reminds me. How did Stella react when you arrived? She slapped me real hard. It hurt. She said that's for making me worried and not listening to me. And then she became happy. Huh. Can I ask whose loss you're dealing with? That's a real sensitive way to bring that back up. You shouldn't be bothered with it. Just pretend I'm in a bad mood and call it a day. Ah, okay. Dots. You really want to know, huh? I can't help it. I don't like seeing people sad. I just need to know context, not details. Someone whom I said some mean thing to passed away before I could ever see her again. Does that work? Yeah, sorry. No, you can't do anything helps me calm down, but uh, I mean, it's not that I wouldn't help. It's just... Calm down. I get it. I can't contain myself when I see people in need. But I've learned that there are times when you just can't do anything. That's kind of fine. Thank God I learned that. Otherwise, I would have gone insane ages ago. A good person, Sai. Nah, I'm just an annoying girl. You got that right. Still, if there's anything I can do to help, please let me know. I have broken bones, but that doesn't mean I can't offer emotional support. <laughs> Poor Sai. I always order another drink. Oh yeah, let's do that. Give me something cold, please. All right. Can I have something with ice? Sigh. Uh. Puke green fairy. Um. Let's get her the most expensive thing with ice. So 250. Oh wait, piano thinger. Wait, no, that doesn't have ice, does it? Pretty sure it doesn't. Now they're aged. So yeah, 250 is the max we can go. Is this on the ice? Yes. I have a Mercury Blast then. On the rocks. Blended for once. No thermometer was harmed in the creation of the drink. <laughs> so we're classy and burning. Here's your Mercury Blast. It's pretty cold outside though. Yeah, but I don't like it hot or warm drinks. They make me feel nauseous. You know what cheers me up? What? Singing. Hearing people sing helps me too. Do you sing? I mean, do you take singing lessons or something? Nope. People have told me my voice is pretty nasty, actually. <laughs> They've also told me I'm good with their harmonica. So you play the harmonica? I need something to... I need something to do breathing exercises with, and a harmonica is a lot smaller than the tuba. I guess if you practice enough, you become decent. That's something I didn't expect. I hear that a lot. I don't... I know I don't look like the musical type. I used to play the violin for it until I was... 16 or so. Really? Can you still play? Violin's at my mom's house, so I don't have it with me. 
I guess I could. It's one of those things you don't forget easily. Why'd you stop? I don't know. One day I just felt like stopping. No deep reason behind it. Just like me and cooking! That and almost burning my place up! That's never fun. When's Stella coming? Now that you mention it, she's a bit late. Let me call her. You do that. I'm gonna take my break. Tell Gil if you need anything else. Sure! Hmm. I think my rule is gonna be if we're under 20, I'm not gonna split. And... If we're under 20 at the break, I guess we are just at 20, so... Puts me in an awkward position, but I guess we're gonna break at that. So stay tuned next time for more Depressed Jill. Well, how fun.